Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through XSLT. So the full form of XSLT is nothing but XML style sheet language. Okay, so XML style sheet language transformation T means a transformation guys. So basically, if you want to represent guys, we discussed about this topic in web programming. Also, if possible, I'll be just adding that after this video in the playlist guys if i remember it okay okay so basically xslt is used to convert a html or sorry a xml file into another xml file or an xml file into an html file okay so it is a step you which you can apply to transform them right so from xml to xml or xml to html so it's a type of transformation you can say so basically you will be using some kind of methods guys. So I hope everyone knows that XML is a user defined language, right? Like I, I mean user defined tags will be there, right? Yes. So that is the reason why representing or showing it on a web page or a browser understanding this XML document is really tough. So that is the reason why we are forced or we are requested to convert it into HTML based on your browsers. Okay, so there are multiple rules and multiple things which you will be considering like templates is one of the thing. Okay. Okay, guys, I think we discussed in detail about XSLT in that lecture. So if possible, I'll be making sure that I'll be adding that link in the next after this video in the playlist. Okay. Okay. So even you can do multiple things like changing colors of font sizes and all those things. Style sheets are used for them only guys. To make your website look good, we'll be using for style sheets. We'll be going for style sheets. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea, right? So XSLT is just a basic topic. Even in the PPT, it was just given only this page, guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So in the next lecture, let us go through the application program interface. Those are nothing but SAX and DOM. Thank you. Thanks for watching.